everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Madden 18 on EA Sports. The running game will be a focus today. The Eagles are top 10 in rush yards allowed, and they're going up against a Giants team that will need to figure out how much it can count on the run. It is a snowy and blustery day in the city of brotherly love as we welcome you to Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step ashore. here in this first quarter. Now the first carry for Wendell Smallwood. He finds an opening past the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Again, it's Smallwood. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down. I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. On second down, Smallwood. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Here's Foles. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. This one away by the punter, Dar. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Carry now for Paul Perkins. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Here for Orleans 
Darkwall. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And when you don't pick up the necessary yardage in that situation, sometimes it starts to put a little doubt in the play caller's mind about what he's going to run on the next play. Because most of them, they thought they were going to pick it up right then and there. Now they've got to adjust what they're doing, adjust what they're thinking, and maybe they go away from what they originally thought. They'll try to pick it up with Perkins. And he won't get to the marker as they're going to stop it for a second straight play right at the line of scrimmage. That was a terrific job by the defense stopping them on third and short. But sometimes you get some visual cues from the offense because when they're going in short yard situations, you might see the offensive line come in tighter together, a little more shoulder to shoulder, trying to wedge a hole in the middle. They didn't... And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. It'll be a pickup of four. And that leads to a New York first down. Now this works, so I guess I shouldn't be nitpicking too much, but they only had a couple of inches to go. Why fake punt? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. If you're going to go ahead and try and pick it up in that short of a distance, I wouldn't even go to fake punt formation. This is like using up a big play for no reason at all. Leave your offense on the field and pick it up. But again, what were we doing? We're nitpicking because yeah, they did get it. It worked. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, Bradford. Now a hit, and the ball comes out. Bradford has lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And look. He's gonna go, and he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles! So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. They're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. The return man here, Dwayne Harris. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. You know, in our research packet this week prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason. What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. And he powers his way up past the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Bradford. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football.
And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On third down, Bradford. It's caught, Shepard. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. There's Perkins on first down. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Second down, Bradford. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham in there to get him. And that's sack number 18 for him on the year. In search of something here after the sack. It's third and long. Bradford getting his guys ready. From the shotgun, it's Bradford. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Now Foles. To the right side. Caught by Salad. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Foles. Open here, Adam Thielen. Thielen, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And New York set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Rolling to his right. He gets this one to Dwayne Harris. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
A good pick up there of 20 yards. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Out of the pistol, Perkins. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. from the 50. And this is caught. First catch by Brandon Marshall. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. They go counter. Perkins. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now Bradford on second down. Throw left side complete to Ingram. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And they'll toss it out to Perkins. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Inside the red zone, and that means don't come away from there with anything less than three points, but everyone's thinking about six. They're trying to get to the end zone. They decide to run a toss. Big people up front being mobile and moving. They're running back trying to follow behind them to find the yardage, and that's exactly what he did. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. The Giants on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Now it's a bootleg with Bradford. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Vinny Curry in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Now Chandler Catanzaro for the field goal here. From the left hash, this from 37. And Catanzaro missed it. That is no good. Wide to the right, but there is a flag down. He might get another shot at this. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. And 
Now a second down throw for Bradford. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Vinny Curry. He's the one to get him. And that's sack number seven for him on the year. In search of something here after the sack. It's third and long. Bradford getting his guys ready. Working out of the gun, Bradford. And this is going to be incomplete. All right, I need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half, especially in the secondary. They've been cohesive, fast to the football. We just saw another example arriving there to help knock that one away. And Captain Zero's kick is right through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run out of. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37 yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Thielen work in the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now back to throw. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. get there. Demarcus Walker coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Matt Darr now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Giants. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. on first down and now this is intercepted my goodness picked off by Rodney McLeod and he takes this one back into the end zone and the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD those free safeties they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does read like a book he read it like a book and took it in for six and if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills they can make big plays just as what we saw a free safety's dream follow the football go to it and take it the other way so they throw the pick six they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air 
And this will get out of bounds. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Six. Bradford flushed out right. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick, but instead it falls down incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Throwing again. Bradford. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. On first and 10, Bradford. Shedding the tackle. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. <laughs> Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got room. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Paul Perkins hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, an update from there. The Raiders out to an early lead over the Chargers. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. A dump off to Smallwood. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. 
That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw and nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. Second down now after the incompletion. They're going to look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. There's Foles. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The second quarter score, meanwhile, down in Arizona. And the early lead there belonging to the Cardinals. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. And they're going to go soft on the corners. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second down now after the pass completion. From the gun, Bradford. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And yeah, the Giants ready to come out now. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. 
Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this you're is going to do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Here's a give to the fullback. That's Johnson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get you first downs and big plays of all styles, but you've got to have a big man. You can just turn it and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. On the run, it's Perkins. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. They'll run with Dark Long. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They go play action here on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Gabe Wright. Able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. Second down, Bradford, flush to his right. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front it buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Third and short yardage, Bradford, and Ingram holds it in. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. A first down throw for Bradford. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now Foles. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Well, so much of playing quarterback in the snow comes down to trying not to do too much. You've got to just keep telling yourself, throws downfield we've run every day in practice all year. 
but guess what? They suddenly become more difficult. And this one gets away from him and winds up an interception. The New York set to take the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? So here we go, first and ten now. They go with Perkins again. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Second down, Perkins. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Off the bootleg, Bradford. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. First and goal. Defense with their backs against the wall. First and goal, Perkins. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down. Bradford steps away to his left. <laughs> and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at a third and goal here. the shotgun it's Bradford escaping the pressure right and that is incomplete let's give this defense some credit now they let the guys get downfield but when push came to shove they stood their ground and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt on the NFL scoreboard elsewhere third quarter down in Arizona you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago we got a good one going on there Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend, but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Here's Smallwood as they begin on the ground. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was.
Foles. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. First down, a run with Smallwood. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Play clock winding down. Going right back to Smallwood. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Wendell Smallwood, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The drive starts with a run by Perkins. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. the gun. Bradford breaks through the contact. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now Bradford, and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Vinny Curry, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Looking to throw on second down. Bradford. And he's going to go down again. Brandon Graham in there for the sack. And he's closing in on that all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. In search of something here after the sack. It's third and long. Bradford getting his guys ready. Operating from the gun, Bradford. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Looking for his big receipt, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
Picked off by Ronald Darby. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. And they're not able to convert on fourth down. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I love this the offense court. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Wendell Smallwood with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Eagles take advantage of good field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll let Perkins carry to start the drive. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Second down to the offense needing five yards. From the gun, Bradford. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Harris. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. First down, Bradford. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Gabe Wright. Busting throw to get him for a loss of six. Now Bradford on second down. Caught left side, Gilmore. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That catch good for five. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Giants on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and 11. To throw, Bradford. He's got a man open. That's Marshall. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. I'm sorry, but it's almost unfair. I mean, Brandon Marshall can make so many plays, but even when you think he's covered... He's not. No, he's really not. <laughs> he uncovers and makes a play on you and picks up good yardage in doing so. Bradford now to throw on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain down to about the 33. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, 
Hard to get them started again occasionally. The Giants on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and nine. Here's Bradford. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Harris. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run. It's Perkins. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. They start to drive with Smallwood. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. They'll set up a throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Harris now to return. Twenty-one yards. Well done on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. And checking that NFL scoreboard there in the fourth quarter down in Arizona. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Another victory perhaps in the cards. They're looking as good as anybody as the playoffs draw near. On first and ten, Bradford being chased out left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his big target, Brandon Marshall. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Throwing again. Bradford on second and ten. Throwing middle but it's incomplete. Dwayne Harris, the intended target, and it's third down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong, didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Yeah, the Eagles will go with an extra DB here as they prepare for a stop on third. Thinking pass all the way. Working out of the gun, Bradford. Throw left side complete. That's Shepard. 
And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. On first and 10, Bradford. Now a hit, and the ball comes out. Bradford has lost it. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Operating from the gun. Bradford, eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow. No move to get the offense off the field here. They've converted once on this drive. On fourth, they'll go again and try it once more. One last shot now for Bradford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes the course of things. But a big shout-out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be in these elements. They took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly. So for Philadelphia, the win won't get them to 500, but they will finish on a high note at 7-9. And, and by just about all accounts, not the type of year they were hoping to have. Meanwhile, for the Giants, this loss will be the capper to a dismal 4-12 and campaign. And with some high picks coming in this spring's draft, it's a team for whom a roster overhaul may be on the way. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.